Hi folks, this is Ben here with Pierre Paul Driving School here. I want to cover with you a few things that as a new driver that you have control over. So when you're doing your wood test, especially when you're driving, you need to pay attention with, right? Because um, we're only human. There is things that we can control. There is things that we cannot con control. So it, does, it goes the same way when it comes down to um, um, driving in general, especially if you're a new student, you're doing less than you're going to be hitting the wood, right? So um, you always in control of, of your speeding because reason why if your speed is because you wanted to speed no one can force you to speed so no one can make you to drive slow those are the thing that these are one this is one thing that you able to control while you're driving you know what i'm saying uh, uh um because this is all up on you so now you put your foot on the brake so now you take your foot off the brake all these things are on you and the second thing is how you stopping you can also control the way that you're stopping because reason why you don't know have to um you put your foot on the brake you see right now okay you, you don't know how you know when to put your foot on the brake and when to not to put on your foot on the brake and what distance are you stopping you know what i'm saying so um this is the second thing you have control about um, um when you're driving the third thing you have control when you're driving is where you go what do i mean by that if you feel in a situation you're not safe, you don't take, you can clear that situation, do not take action because nobody can tell you to go ahead, clear this path if you think it's not clear. Let me tell you, give you an example of what I mean by that, right? Let's say that you feel like a spot is too tight for you to bring the car in. You don't have to go. Don't second guess yourself. If your instinct says that, you know what? I don't think I can fit here. I'm not going to do it don't do it right don't do it because reason why in the event that you get in trouble you either you hit a car or you you hit your car all could have been avoiding by not going there if you feel like you weren't ready to fill that slot you know what i'm saying so um also the decision that you're making matters because reason why because it can impact somebody else's life he also can impact your life most of most most of all you have to be driving for other people not only for yourselves right because the minute you got those things on your head taking that you're not only driving for yourself because there's other people in the world as well you have to drive to compensate them as well it changes that the way you're driving because oftentimes most people the attitude that they have while they're driving oh i can do whatever i want they have no, no choice but they, to follow me because they're behind me that's where you go wrong all right because this is how i said i want to talk about this many students when they're doing their driver's test they feel like the examiner is con uh, is um, um, over, overseeing everything or in control of everything. No, they're not. Even when you do the lesson, there's a lot of stuff you are in control. In fact, as you're driving behind the steering wheel, you are in control of everything. But there is things that are inevitable we cannot control. Those are the part that I wanted to let you know. Things that you are in charge. You see, I'm making my right turn here, right? I'm in control either to come to my right lane or either to go to my left lane. That I have control over because there's nothing that preventing me from going over. Let me give you another example. I'm making a stop here. I'm in control to start my car from here. I'm also in control if I want to go all the way up here to make this stop. You see where I'm going with this? Those are the things that I'm in control. Things that you have control of while you're driving, making sure that you deliver them to the best of, of your ability. There's other stuff you're not in control of. I'm not in control of anybody else coming and hit my car for me to tell them not to hit me, that I cannot do because they are the ones that driving. I'm not in control for a, a police officer to pull me over, say something that I do not do. I'm not in control of that. They are the one that is making those shots. You see what I'm saying? But I'm in control for every seat. Now I'm driving at um now I'm driving of 25 and um, 15 miles per hour. Okay? I'm in control of my speed. If I wanna go faster, I can just accelerate a little bit more on the gas, it'll go fast. If I wanna um if I wanna stop, I can simply cover in my brake and lessen the speed. Alright? As you're driving, as you're taking your word test, always making sure that the thing that you are in control of the thing that you are in charge of you deliver on those to the best of your ability in fact if you keep charge of everything that you are in control trying not to do them wrong to the best of your ability not only that you will be safe driving on the road and also you will pass your test with flying colors because reason reason why 
those things are the things that can prevent you from not only getting moving violation, not only failure with tests, also to give you the right path on the way that you're driving. First and um, most of all, to keep you safe as much as you can. All right, folks? I said I wanted to do a video to cover that with you guys because oftentimes many students think that when they do a driving lesson with an instructor or a driving work test with a DMV examiner, they are not in charge as because they're students. Most of them oftentimes said, I'm a student. Why would they expect me to do this, to do that? No, you're not. As you're behind the steering wheel, whether you're a student or driver or not, it's a lot of stuff that you are in control you are in charge it is your duty to make sure that you deliver to all of the things that you have control of i don't have control to tell the track i'm not in control to tell the traffic light now to turn green because it's red now i don't have control of that but i have the control of when the light turn green for me to decide it either i wanted to continue to drive or only to stop in the middle of the street if i stop in the street here that will be impeding traffic because what i'm in control of i'm delivering not to my highest of my ability so i'm going with this these are a few these are a few things i want you guys to always be aware of these are a few things that i want you guys to always make sure that you deliver you deliver to the fullest of your ability all right you can see this guy here they all eye control are they driving. You see how they're going fast, all crazy around me. I'm not I'm not getting hit to this, you see? Now I'm driving on my right lane, I'll never to my left lane. I'm still getting my attention, me as your shoulder, I'll come over. I am in control of it in that. I am in control of which lane I wanted to drive in. But I'm not in control of this car in front of me that was flying. I'm not in control of the, the school bus that was going around me all type of crazy. All right, folks, these are the uh, few things that I wanted to share with you. If you have not yet subscribed to PFL Driving School, you can go ahead and do so and um, leave in the comment below what are the things that you feel like you are not in charge when driving. If I'm missing something, I can talk more about that. Until then, guys, I want you to keep um, pra um, practicing. If you know anybody that can benefit from this content, share with them. You probably already got your license. Good driver, however, there may be other people who want to benefit from those content and also turn your notification icon each time that you we drop a video you'll be the first one to be not notified we are we in people driving school if you're in the new york area you need any help with your driving endeavor we will be very happy to help you have anything driving related you see these guys are flying we don't need all this the light is is, is, is the, the light is blinking i'm not gonna run the i'm not gonna run the yellow light i'm still within my range okay do not want to let me come in because why they're squeezing me in why is that you don't know you know why is that i don't know i'm waiting for my clearance to pull in to pull in to traffic we're driving here in brooklyn new york city one of the one of the um busiest street to drive here in new york in new york city all right all right folks this has been with people driving school like share and subscribe take care now bye bye